whenever you're ready. I'm reading a poem from my book, Outcast, which is about the Pankey's Island leper hospital that existed off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts from 1905 to 1921. The book is persona poems about the patients and the doctor and his wife who took care of the patients and is a documentary of the island in verse. This poem, Seamstress, is in the voice of Mrs. Parker, Marion Parker, who was the doctor's wife and before coming to that, before marrying Dr. Parker, she was very um, much into writing freelance articles under her maiden name and did a lot of social work before. And when Dr. Parker got the possibility of this job deal, working with lepers, she was right behind him and said, you have to do this. And she did her best for the patients, getting them lots of music and having them play games and talk, having weekly salons. But it was frustrating and she definitely, or I think, she would have had her problems after all. Nobody's perfect. Seamstress. Mrs. Parker pulls thread through beeswax as her mother taught her. Still thread snakes into snarls, with button wobbling in place, pinned between button and cloth. A shank, her mother advised her, allowed space to pull button through hole. When Lucy thins to a sliver, Mrs. Parker attempts alterations of seven gourd skirts in heavy surge. Does one remove a gore, slice existing tr seams and trim? How does the waist detach? Lippincott's home manual clothing for women gives clues, begins with remove the skirt. Mrs. Parker shakes her head, knowing this much. Seam lines should be at right angles to the waistline, sloping slightly toward the front as to give appearance of straight lines. There is no diagram for this. Where is the front? What is right angle to waist? Plumb line to floor? The skirt is in her hands. In fitting, it is sometimes necessary to make more, take more from one gore than the other. From the sides, front, back. When possible, pin without ripping seam. When possible, keep a steady head while fabric unravels. Thimble rolls into a corner, pins scatter across the floor. When possible, bite tongue on wrong words. If need be, mutter under breath. Make sure patients do not hear. She makes tucks in waistband. Tucks bulge thick. Needle sticks. Snaps. Eye dangles on thread. Needle replaced. Toe, heel, on treadle, slow, rock. At the end of the day, she packs her sewing box, ignores unsightly puckers, helps Lucy try on her skirt. Lucy swirls and bows. Mrs. Parker breathes relief.